Writing your proposals in Quantify, putting together your quotes. So you've gone through and put together an estimate for the project, gone through takeoff, loaded in all of your pricing and uh, bits of materials under summary, worked your way through closeout, and now we have the final price. The next step is to start generating our actual proposal. So what we do is we click on the proposal button here at the bottom uh, left hand side and this opens up the proposal module here. Now the first place to start is to create a new proposal. So I'm going to click on new proposal here in the top right this green button and when I click on that it opens up a dialog box to select a template to make this proposal from. Now we do have the sample proposal template that comes out of the box, but you can upload your company's standard templates uh, by clicking here, which will take you into the database manager to the templates editing area uh, or templates upload area. And to upload new proposal templates, you simply click on this little plus button here and drag your template in here. Uh, Word files, Excel files, uh, either of those kind of formats can be attached in as templates to build a proposal from. And once you set up your templates, they will be available to create a new proposal from. So I'm going to select the sample proposal template and I'm going to give it a name. And this can be, you know, quote number one, um, to general contractor. Uh, whatever you want to call this, um, you can create any sort of name in here and then click start. And it now gets added into the list of proposal files attached to this specific estimate. And when I click on this, it's going to open up the proposal editor for us in here. And in here, we can start to add in our information. Um, whatever our date is here, um, quote numbers, any of this kind of information that we might have to enter in. We can enter in our prices, all of that kind of uh, information, tweak the scope items here. One of the unique things is to bring in the closeout breakdown table. Uh, so to do that, we can click on copy table here in the top right. So I'm gonna click on copy table. I'm going to select the final sale breakdown. It is the only one available right now. And then hit next. And it's going to bring in uh, the closeout table that we have in the sale price screen. And I can check off which columns I want to copy in here uh, and which rows I want to bring in. And then I click copy. And then in my proposal letter here, I can right click anywhere and hit paste. The first time you do this, you may uh, have to give permissions um, through your browser to allow your browser to talk to the um, copy paste uh, functions. Uh, but once you do that, the table goes in here. Uh, you can then right click on this table, uh, select table properties, for example. Um, you can edit any of these things in here. I like to select adapt table width here and then increase the size here uh, of all of these so that they're a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to read. Um, but it's really however you want to write your proposals out here. Um, you can click on write justify. You can format this however you want. Um, you can insert more images. You can append files in here. Uh, again, if you're using your own company template, you can have things like your safety certificates, licenses, all of that built in here. So everything is ready to go when you put together that proposal letter. And then once you're ready uh, to send this out, you can then download this and you can download it as a Word document, PDF, any of those file formats here. So if I download this now, and then open it up. 
here we go. Here is my proposal ready to send out to my clients with my pricing and all of the details that I might need in here. And you can create multiple proposal documents. So if you're bidding separate scopes of work to separate general contractors or to you know different owner groups, that sort of thing, you can just simply create another proposal here. Um, and we could say direct to owner, something of that nature. And again, I can simply open that up and that's going to be a new proposal for me to adjust my scope, manage all of those pieces. It works very similar to Microsoft Word. Um, you have all of the different formatting options. It is a full featured editor in here. It is also multi-user. So if you have a larger team or you have a proposal writer that works uh, as part of the team with your estimators, they can all be in here working on different sections of the proposal at the same time. And it will simply show the username uh, where each person is located in the document. And as they type, it updates in real time here. Um, so again, an excellent tool for collaborating with your team when putting together these proposal documents.